to be very clear, there is no justification for what ISIS has done, what they've done to James Foley, what they may have now done to Stephen Sotloff, and what they're threatening to do. They act like they are operating in the name of, of Islam, and that's just nothing could be further from the truth. There is no justification for what they're doing, and they have shown their willingness to kill anyone in their path, not just Americans, not just Westerners, but Iraqis of all faiths, of all sects. They've shown their complete barbarism in doing that. Do you believe, assuming the video is authentic, that the executioner of, of, of uh, Stephen Sotloff is the same executioner of James Foley? Well, that's one thing the intelligence community will be looking at. Uh, certainly, as they look at this video, we are still working on determining exactly who was James Foley's killer as well. And, and uh, Brett McGurk, who you showed earlier an interview with him. The with State Department official. Exactly, who works on Iraq, is absolutely right. Uh, that the president has shown if you attack Americans, if you harm our people, uh, we will go to any length to hold you accountable and it will not go unanswered. So right now, you know, the president and the whole national security team are looking at what more we can do against ISIS, uh, and that's an ongoing conversation. So the president's still in the process now of coming up with a strategy and dealing with ISIS in Syria? Well, to be clear, we've taken the fight directly to ISIS inside Iraq. You've seen now well over 100 strikes taking out ISIS targets. So we've already taken the fight there. In Iraq? Uh, in Iraq. Uh, we've been, what about Syria? We've been taking steps uh, to, uh, in Syria to bolster the moderate opposition that's fighting ISIS as well. Uh, but we've all been clear that we are looking at what additional steps we could take. One of the things the secretary will be doing at the NATO summit this week and in other onward travel is having a conversation with our partners about how we build a coalition to more aggressively take the fight to ISIS because this isn't just a, a threat for the United States but really for the whole region.